are you looking for something to spice up your Thursday yes. evening? Yeah, yeah what is it? it? What's it going to be? I think an Indian is perfect, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no fussed fake away, it might be just what you need. Sunil Guy from Pickle Restaurant is here with his take on his firm favourite, Chicken Corner. Mm. Good morning to Good you. Good morning, how are, how are you? you? Now you're, this, this looks beautiful looks here. Looks delicious. Now, we have to start by going, if you were doing this at home, please tell me you don't need all those spices that no, you, you don't. have there. No. Oh, no. these, these are half of the spices only you need. <laughs> <laughs> you need at least another 10 we'll, jars. We'll count how many have we're using. Have you seen the amount? How many spices have you got there? There are not many, to be and honest. There's kind of some of that's coconut milk. And yeah, there's, there's some yogurt, there's well. some cashew curry, okay. there's some tomatoes. <laughs> wow. But because okay. this is it, if I've tried to make a korma before and you only use half of the spices, you don't get the same flavour. You need all those really to... You, you will get the flavours if you use this recipe. Okay. Believe me. This recipe. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So we're only using cardamom, cinnamon, and clove and a maize. Okay. You know, to go in there. And a bit of a coriander seeds and some fennel seeds, which you get in any kitchen, any home. Everybody uses it at home. Okay, yeah, I think I have, have some locked away somewhere in the, <laughs> yeah, some, in the some, spice rack. Yeah. Some that onions. You used in months. <laughs> so what you do is see, there are different recipes for the coal mark. Uh, if you travel in India also. If you go to the southern part of India, they use a lot of coconut milk instead of using oh, the nuts and all, course, you know. Yeah. Oh, if, okay. you, if you are in north part, in Lucknow and all those places where the korma born, they use melon seeds, poppy seeds, cashew nuts, almonds. Oh, so you don't really use coconut milk and stuff, you use... We use cream, seeds. we use cashew nuts, we use oh. coconut also. Okay. But some of the flavours you can use, just use uh, coconut milk, onions, curry leaves and mustard seeds. That's the korma for southern part of India. And how much are you cooking down those onions? You need to cook them translucent so they go softer, and mm -hmm. then you start adding your spices. Okay. So we are only using turmeric powder in that. Okay. Because we have used the whole spices, that will give us a flavor, and the turmeric will do the magic. Okay, mm. the nice turmeric. And turmeric thing. is essential. It's, it's antiseptic. You should have it in your kitchens all the time, I think. Because you see those turmeric shots that people have in the morning and yeah. stuff as well. It's meant to be really good for your it's, health. It's better to have the turmeric in your food. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just incorporate that in somehow. And how like, much would you be using now? It depends. Don't, don't take the tablespoons. Just a pinch of it. You know, it's very bitter in taste yeah. and you will not like it. So how much would you put into this? Just a in this pinch? one, I'm, I'm using around 300 grams of onions. Okay. So I'm going to use maybe a teaspoon of turmeric in that. Okay. You know? and which will serve around four to five people easily. All right. So, going that, then we have some green chilies. You can just chop them up roughly. If you don't want to chew into them, because we'll be puring them. We are not using any red chili powder or anything in that, you know? Yeah. And then you have some garlic. Just crush them a little bit because so, so, Neil, so a lot of these are quite chunky. Are you going to save this at the end? You can puree them puree and strain it. it through, that's all. Ah, that's, okay. that's how the restaurant works. Yeah, but at yeah. home, you can just serve it like that also, because onions will be pureed. Yeah, if you want end. a big chunk of garlic in your... Well, well, that, no, you can, you can always use a microplane for that yeah. garlic seeds, also. Yeah. And I kind of always think then it'd be quite bitty whenever you're eating, but yeah. puree and it makes to, sense. To, to be honest, all these seeds, the spices, they will not give you any bit of flavour, you know? At home, we never puree anything, we don't strain anything, it's always eaten like that, you know? And so, obviously, we don't have time to yeah. do it the way, so we need to sort of push along. So we add some turmeric, a teaspoon of that, and we have some yogurt sauce. into this. And just normal yogurt? Normal Greek yogurt, yeah. Cook along. And this is the cashew nut oh, puree. You, you know, there, there's a cashew nut butter in fashion as well. So you yeah. can use that also. So cashew nut puree. I don't know where. Yeah. I don't seen that where before. would you get that? Yeah. You can just fry those cashew nuts at home. And, and then just add the it chicken that. that you're putting in, how long it, will the chicken take to cook? Chicken doesn't take long. We are using chicken breast, cut chicken breast into dices, yeah. which we have it here. So you're going to put them, them into that. And it will take only maybe four to five minutes to cook your chicken breast, you know. Add some water. And now let it cook. So how long oh, was so that then? This will take around 35, 40 minutes. Okay, and then you put your chicken in, do you? Then you put your chicken in. Okay, do you want to put the chicken in there and just yeah. show us? So you just put water then, so no coconut milk like you it said. It will go later, not now. Oh, okay. So you add your chicken into that. And do you cut them very finely? No, I cut like them into nice chunks. Maybe an uh, inch and a half kind of a cube. Okay. 
And then what else goes? What's that? What are you putting in there? That's the coconut. <laughs> All right. Now I'm lost. I've. You yeah. said there was there was very little um, spices going in. It looks like you've used loads. <laughs> we only use five spices in them. Oh, is so that far. only five? Yeah. Turmeric, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, fennel. And then you let the chicken cook for how long? Chicken will take around five to seven minutes to cook. Five to seven that. minutes. Yeah, so 30 it. or five minutes, and then you add yeah. your chicken. I mean, I love the five. color, but you need to blend it, obviously, first yeah. before and you put know, the chicken to, in. And, you know, to go lavish, to impress your somebody at coming home, you can just add some saffron into that, if you have it. If you don't have oh, it, yeah. you can always go ahead. We were chatting about that earlier on, and saffron is just so expensive. Isn't it, it is expensive, but it's one of those spices which, you, which enhance everything, especially the kormas, the biryanis. And uh, things like lamb, well, Roman I'm going to have to try this yeah. now. Yeah, to try get I'm, I'm sure you're delighted now that restaurants are reopening now soon it's for indoor Thank dining. God. Thank yeah. God. Yes, it's been good long seven months yeah. uh, from so December Have you been doing takeaways or anything? We were deliveries? doing takeaways, yes. We were doing takeaways. I opened a, recently opened a new place also uh, called Street in Klonski. That's also working well. This so. tastes just like what I would order, which, which is exactly what you said. This should be just like what you would get from a restaurant. Yes. So I just need to follow that with all those spices today, <laughs> I think tonight. If I'm going to do a takeaway, like a, a fake away meal tonight, I, I'm excited. I might try it, you know. Yeah. Why don't you? Because I have all those spices, but do they go out of date? <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. To check if, them, yeah. if you keep the whole spices in a tight jar, nothing goes wrong. So mm. whenever you need them, just roast them a little bit and then grind them what you need. The well, powdered spices doesn't last long. Okay. So it is. In our kitchen, we, we grind cumin, coriander, and garam masala almost every day. Oh, right. Wow. Okay. So well, it is delicious. Thank you more. so much. Thanks, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. delicious.